The stink over sewage may be one of the capital region's longest running debates, at least in modern history. For more than 30 years now, people have demanded that we stop sending untreated effluent straight into the ocean. But the science on this has always been murky. Are we damaging the ocean or are we, in fact, improving the underwater ecosystem? CTV's Andrew Johnson has more on the debate and joins us live with the story. Andrew. Hudson, there is an irrefutable set of facts here about how we currently screen our sewage and then send it out to sea. But once it arrives at its destination and then disperses, what happens next depends who you talk to. It's a beautiful spot where the sea stretches as far as you can see, but a kilometer off Clover Point, 60 meters beneath the water, what's this? Our sewage. First it's screened, anything larger than six millimeters won't make it through. The rest is bound for the Juan de Fuca Strait. The CRD estimates 24,000 liters of sewage is pumped out to sea every day from the Macaulay and Clover Point outfalls. Over the past three decades, that adds up to 260 million liters. That's enough to fill 105 Olympic-sized swimming pools. It was a bit more than three decades ago. Bill McElroy was a Victoria Alderman and CRD director. He couldn't believe the city's sewage was being flushed out to sea. So the CRD at the time hired a biologist up at the university to do a real study. And they sent divers down, they did samples. But the bottom line was that not only was it not harming the marine environment, it was actually enhancing it. Sound familiar? Decades later, some scientists are saying the same thing. Credible sounding critics are lining up to assure us the tides are treating our sewage naturally and safely. We actually worked it out that it was a drop, literally a drop in a five gallon bucket, is the proportion of flow of this of what's going out from Victoria to what is actually flowing in the street. But many people, including the federal government, believe the core municipalities cannot keep piping waste into the ocean. The idea that we can dump toxins into the environment and that they just go away is simply not true. And fundamentally, the idea that we can create waste and it's up to our environment to deal with it is irresponsible. Wilhelmsen says studies show only pollution-tolerant plants and animals have survived near the outfalls. CRD monitoring confirms some damage to marine life on the seafloor within 300 meters of the pipes. Well, I'm Mr. Floaty, the ocean poo. If you're from Victoria, then I'm from you. No one can argue the smelly optics of flushing our floaties just offshore. In the year 2012, it just doesn't sound right. But does the science back that up? Maybe we'll know in another 30 years. Hudson, if the idea of dumping our sewage into the ocean seems outdated, even downright disgusting, what was going on in Victoria until I believe about the mid-1950s may seem unbelievable. The area of the garbage barge, people's garbage, was loaded onto a barge at Ogden Point, sailed out to sea, and with the help of a bulldozer, pushed right into the ocean. A lot of it would float and end up back on local beaches, and you've got to think some of it is maybe still down there somewhere. Maybe. All right, Andrew, thank you. You're welcome. Andrew Johnson reporting.